Hi guys, Zech here. Today I want to show you the largest print that I've ever made. My son saw this kryptonite spear on Thingiverse and he wanted me to print it. So I thought I'll give it a try on my Hypercube Infinite printer. Let's talk about the design of this printer first. This printer is designed to print on a belt. So the belt at the moment is plastic transfer belt from a, a laser printer. I found that it's not very durable, so I'm going to replace this with a stainless steel shim belt that I'll make up. So I'll just fold it over and I'll tie it up with Kapton tape and make it nice and sturdy. The top part here of this printer is a standard hypercube printer. So, and this is my Y axis, this is my X axis, and this belt is the Z axis. So what, what happens is, when you put the model into Black Belt Kira, so Black Belt 3D has got their own version of Kira, when you put the model in there and you slice it, it slices the model at 35 degrees, or what, whatever your design is, in this case it's 35 degrees, and Black Belt Cura translates the movement of the Z compared to the XY movement and fixes the model so that when you print it, it still comes out the way it's supposed to look. A few other design things on this printer. I've got a, a mirror over here, which is a piece of glass that I had conveniently and I've got a heated bed underneath that so this part is glass and supported and this side here there's nothing at the moment so when the model rolls over it, it just slides over this aluminium plate on this side which is just a support if the model gets very long for this model I had to put the chairs there as well to be able to to print that long one other change that I made was I drilled out my nozzle to a one millimeter nozzle. When I saw uh, the 3D printing nerd, he made uh, little brackets that he put weights on. In that video, he saw that the models that were printed with bigger nozzles were actually stronger. So I drilled out my nozzle here to one millimeter. It was just a standard point four that I drilled out to one millimeter. What this also allows us to do is to print thicker layer heights. So my layers are 0.4 instead of 0.2. So you can see the time lapse over here. You'll notice that there are a few layer shifts. Because the uh, nozzle is one millimeter, the plastic becomes actually quite hard and any little catch will make it shift. I also bumped the camera a few times. Sorry about that. The print took one day and seven hours to complete. This model is actually in lots of little pieces and I just put the pieces together next to each other in Mesh Mixer and then export it as a single combined file. So it's not properly Boolean, but it was a single file. And this kryptonite part here was printed separately on here. This was printed in vase mode. And again, you can see in the time lapse that printing in mid-air is pretty cool. We're going to put a little light in here, so, so that will be fine. This is the largest print I've ever made. It is a continuous print of 1.5 meters, so 1543 millimeters. I hope you found this interesting. Um, thanks for your continued support. I hope you have a great day.